Hi, I wanted to take this opportunity to help you with some preparatory material for exam one. In our class, exam one has 66 questions and it covers information from chapters one through five. So that's uh, levels of measurement and describing distributions, calculating measures of central tendency and variability, and going up to z-scores. Now, the material well, it's pretty well distributed, but I want you to remember a few things. First off, there is a study sheet. If you go to the syllabus on Canvas and you scroll down a little bit, you'll find a study sheet that tells you the important stuff that you need to know for exam one. You'll also find a formula sheet that has some formulas. However, exams in this class, exam one, two, and the final exam, are all from memory. Now, it's not because I'm sadistic, it's because the final exam, which is written by the department and required for all sections of statistics, is by memory. That's one of the rules. And so we do our two other exams that same way. You can use scratch paper, you can use a calculator. And in fact, if you're taking this at home on Proctorio, you can even use your cell phone as a calculator as long as you use it only as a calculator. So scratch paper is okay, calculator and cell phone calculator is okay, but no notes, no formula sheets, nothing else, no looking stuff up when you're actually taking the exam. It's from memory. The thing to remember though is that the exam is set up exactly like the quizzes and the post tests. It's multiple choice, the same kinds of questions, not trying to trick you up on anything. The best way to practice for the exam is to actually take the quizzes and the post tests. It's one of the reasons I invite you to go back and do the quizzes again. You can do them as many times as you want. It'll keep the highest score, which should be a five on all of them. And then a final note is hopefully things will go well for you on the exam, but I want you to remember that if for some reason things don't go your way on the exam, Remember the forgiveness policy that we have built into the class. If you then do better on exam two or on the final, then that later better grade can replace your earlier lower grade. It can make a big difference in how things go well for you in the course. So don't panic, don't panic. Trying to do this in a way that is supportive to you and encourages you to continue and develop as you go through the class. So those are my tips for exam one. Good luck. I hope it goes your way. <laughs>